lightweight division. Nice low kick to start things out for Belay. Yeah, he's got that nice, tall, long frame. Started off with a nice jab low kick. Now return with a nice counter low kick again. Prides himself on hard boxing and hard low kicks. And you can tell how educated this crowd is. They're plotting low kicks. Absolutely. Donnie just walking straight forward. Well, being the shorter fighter, he's got to close that distance Whoa. down. Three three-minute rounds. Well, good one-two there for Belay, and he ends it with a low kick. Yep, using that long reach, especially with that jab, but then he makes that jab into a nice lead uppercut. Keeps finding that right hand, Belay. Now he doesn't have any much left in that lead leg, Romdani. Breaking it down. We're not even two minutes into the first round. Move a little bit more. Not sit so heavily on your punches. Good straight right hand again. He's masking those low kicks with good punches. There's that lead uppercut again from Belay. Almost got that flank switch knee. Go. Go. Front leg holds up for Romdani here in round two. Right back to work goes Belay with a low kick. And Belay's gonna set it all up with hands, punches to kicks. Good one, two, and following it up with a right hand. Everything's working for Garrett Belay right now. Sweeps are not legal in kickboxing, but you can't kick that lower leg. Kick it right under. They're blocking you. Kick right through and hit that bottom leg. You're good. Nice uppercut there with the left hand. And that may have hurt Romdani. Belay looking finish here. Romdani's feet are all over the place. This is where Belay needs to stay patient and maybe mix in the low kicks. Romdani's too busy defending his head and leaving his legs open. Oh, oh, nice body shot. The way he slipped off of that to land, it was brutal. Oh, Romdani, one tough customer. He's taking some huge shots. Well, I'd love to see that body shot in our replay after this round. We can pull that up. Oh, yeah, he Great. slipped his head right to the oh. left to land that inside body shot. Beautifully timed. Good counter. Looping punches from Romdani. Is that just Romdani's style? It's the way he throws punches at his feet are constantly moving, or does that have to do with the damage he suffered from the low kick? I think it's the damage from the low kick, because he has to close distance, so he's trying to walk his four feet forward, trying to get and close that distance, but Belay's going for the finish. So Rodani has to do the improbable here. Get a knockout. Oh, right through the block. All five judges score round two for Belay. It's been a sweep so far. Is that a knockdown? No, says Tobias Gerald. His foundation is not there, which makes it almost impossible to get anything behind your punches or your kicks, of course. No, he's just walking and trying to use his weight. He needs to be careful with those spinning back. This has to hit with the glove, but here comes Belay. Let's see if Belay can finish. Rodani off. He's got him in trouble. Every meaningful punch that lands rocks Romdani backwards. Romdani's basically going to have to sleep in an ice bath for three straight days to get these legs to go back down. But watch how Belay's throwing these low kicks. He's, he's cutting them down, which actually causes more damage. What do you mean by cutting them down? So the angle of his kick, you can see it coming down. Whoa. That's how you get more damage. But I think Romdani's out. Uppercut. Uppercut. See you later. Garrett Belay. One. Romdani well, had no choice Three. but to try to go for the knockout, but he got caught himself. Five, and his corner just threw the seven, towel. Eight, nine. And that's it. Our referee has seen enough, and this crowd has seen what they can.